Yo, what's up guys? It's Matt. This is gonna be my first video on my channel. Uh, my channel is just gonna cover everything about my life, basically. Um, you know, the good, bad, uh, ugly, all that kind of stuff. I want it to be very personal, um, very, uh, very much about my experiences so people can learn from those experiences. Um, maybe people could get motivation uh, from me and my passion for fitness, um, all that kind of stuff. So we'll see where it goes, um, but pretty much it's gonna be a little bit of everything. Uh, of course, it's gonna, well, I shouldn't say of course, cause you guys don't even know me yet, but it's gonna revolve a lot around fitness just because my life revolves a lot around fitness. But it's gonna be pretty much everything. Um, I'll have some food in there, um, just some vlogs on random stuff. Um, so yeah, just just a little bit of everything. It's gonna be a chance for people to learn things from me, while um, I learn stuff from everybody else. So it's just a good uh, growing experience, and I'm I'm really looking forward to it. So right now. <laughs> I'm on my way to the gym. I gotta get some gas first. Um, if you know me, I always let my gas run like really, really low. So, gotta stop at the gas station and then um, going to the gym to hit an upper body workout. So, uh, I'll probably record, I'm saying at least like the compound movements or move, I don't know. I'm, I'll probably record like in, incline bench and then possibly a couple accessory movements um before when i did youtube videos i put a little bit too much of the workouts in there i feel like i just want to give a a couple examples um of exercises for people to do um, now this channel i want it to be for um the inexperienced and maybe um the slightly experienced in the gym probably not probably not directed towards the the very experienced yet um, just cause I'm not very experienced. I've only been lifting, uh, consistently for about a year, but I mean, I've, I've worked out and lifted since I was, you know, 14 years old or something like that. So I have a lot more experience than I give myself credit. But as you know, if, if you're lifting weights and you stop for a couple months, whatever, you pretty much lose all those gains or a majority of them. So I uh, just give myself credit for the last 11 months um, because I've been consistent with both my diet and my training. So before I was never consistent with my diet. So that kind of screwed me over a bit. So if, if you want to make um, solid gains in the gym, um, you got to be consistent with that diet, whether you're using um, MyFitnessPal or any other calorie counter out there. I highly recommend that. Um, but I'm gonna get some gas, so uh, I'll see you guys when I'm at the gym. Yo, so I just want to say that, uh, say this quick. You know that feel when you're at the gas station? That it asks you debit or credit. Well, you press debit, it says go see attendant. So then you swipe your card again. You say nope, credit, boom. Don't even have to do anything. And guess what? I'm getting gas. Didn't have to burn those extra calories. You know, going in there. But uh, that's it. What's going on guys? So you'll see me here, I'm um, just doing 155 on the incline. I was doing 175 actually for four sets of six and I switched up my sets and rep range. Now I'm doing five sets and I'm doing eight reps. So, um, and I'm just going a little lower. Before I was, I know I'm still not touching my chest. Um, it just hurts my shoulders when I do, especially once I go higher up in weight. But I liked 155. I got the full uh, five sets of eight reps. So I was pretty satisfied with that. And this is after a week off too. So, well, this was my fifth or sixth day back from a week off. But I was really surprised with how much, um, how sore I was after that week, after I worked out after that week off. Um, here's me just doing some machine lateral raises. I really like these as opposed to using dumbbells um, 
just really helps with your form. I'm really focusing on the contraction, the squeeze, and just taking my time with it, not rushing it. Focusing on both the eccentric and concentric part of the movement. So um, I'm really liking these at the moment. I would, I was doing cables for these too, but I'm really liking the machines. And then here's me just finishing out on um, some machine preacher curls. Uh, you could do normal preacher curls. I prefer using the machine right now. So I'm doing uh, about 12 reps and then I'm doing a drop set at the end. This is my last movement for the day. So I kind of just go till failure on the drop set. I believe I did about 25 to 30 reps and I dropped the weight um, about to about 60% of what I was doing. Um, about Yeah, just about 60%. So giving myself a little bit of a break here before I go and then I'm just pounding them out. Uh, just started incorporating drop sets and they're not really necessary I don't think but um, I like doing them especially in my arms. Um, I'm trying to bring up my arms quite a bit. I'm trying to bring up everything but um, I've always had smaller arms so I thought you know when it wouldn't hurt to have a little bit oversized arms compared to everything else um, I still want the rest of my physique to be on point don't get me wrong but I'd like my arms to be a little bit uh, on the bigger side so that's it for the voiceover I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video thanks for watching guys what up guys as you can see it's raining got done with my workout um, as you saw put a little bit of the footage in there like I said I'm not gonna put my whole workout in there because it's kind of like a full day vlog but I mean I work out for about two hours a day so that is a good chunk of my day right there so now I'm gonna head home um, if I make it home and then I'm gonna get working on um, I'm gonna upload the videos that I got thus far and then work on a few projects um, and then I have to go to the dentist at 2.30 so I'll show you guys some of that. I hate going to the dentist. I don't know about you guys but I hate it. Every time they bitch at me for not flossing enough um, but I probably should honestly floss a little bit more but I am like I'm pretty good with my teeth. Like, I make sure I brush them at least, like, two, three, di three times a day, if not more, um, depending on what I ate or whatever it may be, but always end up getting bitched at for it. Always try to convince them that, oh, I'm going to floss more, but I never end up doing it. I probably should, but the issue with flossing for me is I got a permanent retainer, which makes it, like, really difficult slash uncomfortable to floss, at least on the bottom. So, my fault, I, I gotta do it more, really. But, alright, it's pretty, uh, pretty shitty out as you can see. So I'm gonna get off here, um, and then I'll see you guys in a bit. What up guys? Look at all those uh, really interesting looking roads, right? Yeah, I live in Wisconsin, so it's pretty it's pretty damn boring for the most part. It's mostly farm fields, it's boring stuff like that that I'm not interested in. Um, but like I said before, I'm on my way to the dentist. You know, everybody's favorite. I personally, like I said, do not like the dentist, but I like it because I, I like taking care of my teeth, but I don't know. I, I feel like I just get bitched at every time, basically. But got my Facebook fan page set up, and then um, didn't have much time to even eat, which sucks. Um, and then later today, I'm going to get my website set up a little bit more. I gotta get that about page done, um, and then I'm gonna be offering programs on my website, ones that I made, 
I'll be offering like three different programs, just general ones, if you want to buy those. Um, I'm not sure the price yet, but they'll be very, very affordable. Um, especially for the content they have. They're, I, I personally can say they're better than any program I've bought. And I bought programs for up to like $50, and it's not going to be anything close to that. Um, and then shortly I'll be offering customized workout plans so if you want something a little bit more catered to you copper if you want something a little bit more catered to you I'm gonna be offering programs like that too so depending on what your goals are at the time um, if you're trying to bring up a lagging body part um, we could focus more on that one um, it just all depends on what your personal goals are at the time so um, I'm almost there pretty boring still uh, but I'll check in with you guys well, that was weird I had it like I don't know never mind uh, but I'll check in with you guys in a bit how nice it is outside now it's not raining anymore yo what up guys so I'm on my way to the gym again um, I'm picking up my friend who I made a program for and we're gonna go over um, the exercises I'm kind of just gonna train them um, show him some form help him with form um, assist him so and then I'm gonna do a little bit abs during that so um, on my way to pick him up now, so um, I'll see you guys in a sec. What's up guys, here's my boy Connor. He's doing the push workout on my three day beginner split. He did real good for his first time back in a while. Um, if you're interested in programs, check out mapbats.com real soon. I'll have a couple different options for you as well as customized workout plans. So, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. That's good. Yo, look at the sky though. Wow. I might have to put that on Snapchat. Yo. If it fits your macros. Yo, what's up guys? So this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I try to make it as entertaining as possible. Um, so I'm going to be trying to upload videos at least every couple days. Just full vlogs. Um, sometimes, like I said, I'll do workout videos. Sometimes I'll do like eating videos um, and sometimes I'll just do something on a random topic. So I'm kind of just going to have fun with this. Um, hopefully you guys can learn something like I said. But I hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, comment on it, give me your feedback. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.